it should have an impact on Mike Tomlin mm -hmm. from the perspective of here you are, a fantastic coach, a Super Bowl champion coach, my favorite coach in the NFL, although I think we'd all acknowledge that Bill Belichick is the best. Um, and, and this is a guy that's going to two Super Bowls. He's about discipline. He's about so many things that are right about the game of football. And as far as I'm concerned, I sit here today feeling completely empathetic and sympathetic to him because this makes him look bad. It makes the Roonies look bad. It makes a pristine organization like the Pittsburgh Steelers look bad. And I think from a moral perspective, it's a blow to them. Is this something they're going to recover from? Sure. Are they going to win football games? Absolutely. Are these guys going to end up getting suspended as long as they're on the football field? They'll be just fine in terms of football. But in terms of imagery, these two individuals, LeGarrette Blunt and Le'Veon Bell, have to be two of the stupidest individuals that I have encountered on this day. Do you have any idea how could, how bad it has to be where an officer pulls you over because literally he sees and smells the smoke coming out of your car in Pittsburgh. In Pittsburgh. You ain't in South Beach or in Sin City, Las Vegas, where it's congestion of cars and the smog in Los Angeles and everything. No, no, no. You are in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and you are just strolling down the street with, 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 with a woman in a car, y'all get pulled over. All three of y'all say, oh, it's mine. The weed was mine. Weed. I don't even know. I mean, let's, all of them, I give them credit for that. At least they didn't try to deny that it was theirs. But do you have any idea how bad you have to be for the cop to sit there and say, look, man, they were driving by and I smelled it. <laughs> I, mean, do you have, I mean, who are you, Snoop Dogg in a green room? I mean, what? what? the hell is going on? <laughs> this is not the hip-hop industry. Yeah. This is the NFL. It has been made very, very clear, regardless of the idiots in America who sit there and try to come to these dudes' defense, acting like, oh, well, you know what? It ain't nothing wrong with it or whatever. The NFL says there's something wrong with it. They ban it. You're not allowed to use it. You're going to get fined and or suspended if you do. I have never, ever, ever seen a joint or some weed in my life that is worth millions. And these dudes putting themselves in this position, sullying the reputation of their or the, or the organization, sullying Mike Tomlin's name, okay, because he's their head coach and his name is going to be attached to this. It is as egregious as it gets. I don't know how many times I have to say to stay off the damn weed. Mm -hmm. And they don't listen. Stupid. And it's, it's irresponsible and it's uncalled for. I'm, I'm, I can't believe these dudes. I, I, I just can't believe them. I can't believe them. Is, is it possible that these two guys thought that marijuana has now been legalized in the state of Pennsylvania? Because it has not. Is that, that, that's how they acted or reacted, right? Like, it's all mine. Well, what's the problem, officer? Yeah, I, I got it. She's yeah. got it in the back seat. She, yeah. well, what's the problem, Medicinal. officer? <laughs> it's a huge problem. Yes. Because th this is going to be a, a, a big, bad psychological blow to a football team that I think we both thought we were going to pick to win this division. Am I right? Yeah. You are leaning that way. Yeah. I was leaning that way. We I'm, still, I'm, I'm, on I'm still leaning that way, but yeah. go ahead. Well, the, the biggest reason that I liked this football team was that they added LeGarrette Blunt to Le'Veon Bell. Yes. I love both of them. It's not just thunder and lightning. It's thunder and thunder that they now had at the running back spot. And when I read this story last night, I sat back and I said, I'm like you. What, what are they thinking, seriously? Because, you, you know, as, as two of the better players on the football team, you, you have a responsibility to the rest of your team. It's illegal. Mm -hmm. It's against the rules of the NFL. Your owner, you, you didn't bring up, I'm, I'm a big Mike Tomlin fan, but That's listen, that Rooney family, yes, I brought Dan up Rooney, Rooney, I know, I, brought up I know, Rooney's. But, but he, he will not like this at all. And he is usually preemptive here. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know if he's going to wait and let the justice system play out or not. Or maybe he'll just step right in because both the, the young men said, yeah, yeah, we're, we got, you got me. Yeah, sure. Maybe he'll step in and say, you're both gone for the first two games. I think that's possible here. Here's the reality, Skip. And move out the way.
the Rooney Rule, which mandates that teams have to at least interview an African-American candidate, a minority candidate. It's named <laughs> after the man who owned the Steelers, all right, and the family that has been as upstanding and as pristine as it comes, particularly to minorities and the plight of minorities in the sport of professional football. How? I, I don't know how else to put this. If you are a black man, you should be even more sensitive as a member of the Pittsburgh Steelers because the doors of opportunity that have been opened for you, the Rooney family is primarily responsible for instigating. So when you walk up in that organization and you don't have that level of consciousness, and on top of it all, they peeled a black man that used to be a defensive coordinator and peel him out of the woodwork. You ain't even here, Mike Tomlin. The man comes in there, shows he can win Super Bowl, is all about accountability and trying to do things the right way, regardless of what happened with the Baltimore game with his foot near the sidelines and all of this other stuff. The fact of the matter is, for by and large, Mike Tomlin is highly respected and considered an upstanding citizen. To disrespect that organization, yep. to disrespect him, to show such a level of insensitivity to them because you want to smoke some weed, it is inexcusable and it is unforgivable. I hope, I, I hope they get suspended for multiple games. And I'm a Steelers fan. That's how disgusted I am with them because they're good, they're talented, they can play. You need them. But for them to be this egregious, this insensitive, it's no cause for it whatsoever.